What's up everybody? Happy Sunday. Hope everybody's recovering from St. Patty's Day. All right, so um, we'll talk a little bit about how I transport my camera equipment out to the trailhead. Because I use this Pelican Air case. I really like it. It's, um, it's lightweight, but it still gives you the uh, waterproof capability that the uh, heavier uh, Pelican cases give you. And this is a multi-purpose case for me. Um, I use this for a range case too, and it has this uh, pick and pup pick and pluck uh, foam in the inside. And I'll, I'll talk to you about that in a little bit, but this one actually has um, five clasps um, that hold the lid shut. But um, if we look at this thing, kind of open it up here. So this is where I keep all my camera equipment. So various uh, Sony cameras here, uh, my GoPro with dead cat on top, uh, a couple other GoPros, um, chargers, cases, um, just general cleaning things, um, a, an extra battery uh, charger. So if I'm out and I need to either charge my phone or charge some cameras, um, this is, uh, I think this is, let's see what this is. This is the uh, anchor and let's see what capacity it is. The 26800 uh, various lenses. So this is a larger zoom lens. And then I keep my smaller lens here, uh, camera straps, any kind of cases, um, battery chargers, cables, cleaning, more cleaning stuff, uh, some lens filters for the for the Canon. Um, I keep my gimbal in hole. This is the stuntman chest mount uh, with the gimbal screwed to it, so I can just lift this thing out as a uh, one piece and then just screw my GoPro into the bracket here and I'm ready to go with my gimbal batteries up here um, and some various kind of um, GoPro doors and other kind of accessories there. The cool thing about this pick and pluck as you can see it's kind of uh, the cross sections there where you can actually pluck out and make these little uh, cubbies. Um, and this one's a two layer, so it's the on the horizontal plane is sliced halfway down. Um, so you can have these cubbies that are half half deep, and then you can have these cub, cubbies that are that are the full uh, depth of the case. So um, really like it. And the good thing is too is that you can actually, if you're careful, you can pull all of this foam out with the equipment in it. If it fits snugly and you can plop down your other piece of foam that's cut out for for other use all right so the other thing I, I mentioned in the intro vid to this channel also is you know also repurpose some of the tripods I already had a, a super great tripod that I had used for uh, as a spotting scope and to sight in rifles um, and so just decided to reuse that they all have a standard uh, quarter, quarter inch uh, camera mount on them And it has a standard uh, quarter inch screw mount on the bottom. So I just screw it into the stand uh, So just a little bit about uh, yesterday's trip. I'll post that footage this uh, following week, but um, I can say for sure um, I did not capture the first 15 minutes of that ride um, I was using the one start record on GoPro and uh, just talking with people at the trailhead and just kind of forgetting uh, I hit the power button instead of the one click button and those of you that know on the GoPro if you hit the one click button that powers up and it automatically records well I only hit the power button so it just powered up um, I thought I saw the red light blinking uh, but the shadows I guess were playing some tricks on my eyes and I didn't pay much attention to it till I stopped for the first time to check and so I didn't get the first 15 or 20 minutes of the footage, but nonetheless, it was a good ride. You'll see the video footage of that. Uh, they were doing some prescribed burns, and I knew this before I went out to Lake Norman because I actually um, went to the State Park website and looked. I thought they would be done by Friday, but um, ended up riding the Laurel Loop. Was going to take Laurel to, to the Wildlife Loop, which is my favorite loop. Um, at Lake Norman, but um, they still had the wildlife loop blocked off. You'll see that in the video footage as well, but uh, still a good ride, so I hope you enjoy. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Uh, until next time, skill up and ride.